What's up? I'm Aaron Cartier and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel for yet another video here. Today's video we are going to be doing yet another unboxing of another Marc Jacobs bag that I just recently picked up. I'm starting to think that maybe I have like a bag addiction because it's just getting out of hand. Like I have so many handbags and it just needs to get under control. I probably need to get some more variety because all my handbags are basically the same. They're all black colored and maybe I need to switch it up and try something else for once. But yes, today's video is going to be another unboxing. I'm so excited. I have been in the market for an everyday bag. I literally have said that in my last Mark of Jacobs video. I thought that bag was going to be my everyday bag, but that bag is just a little too big for me, a little too spacious for all the stuff that I carry. I feel like I don't really carry too, too many items and that one just had so much space i feel like that bag will be better for you know if i'm going to meetings or you know i'm doing things like that trying to meet with people playing stuff out where i got to take more items with me if you haven't checked that video out i will link a card up here as well as link it down below for your viewing pleasure but yes i'm excited about this bag it's a little smaller i feel like it's going to be a little more of what i've been looking for in a bag something cute something simple that can go with a dress up that can go with dress down streetwear look so i'm very excited i've been waiting to unbox this bag i got this bag probably like two days ago now and i've been waiting to take it out and look at it and feel it and touch it and all that stuff so i can't wait to open it and get into it with you guys if you are new to my channel and this is your first time seeing my face hi hello i am aaron cartier I upload fashion and lifestyle videos. If that is the kind of content that you enjoy and that you like, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and become a part of the Diamond Squad here on YouTube. I would love to have you. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and checking out my video. Once again, you didn't have to do that. And yet here you are and I appreciate you so much. Also, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up on this video. It helps push me out into the algorithm. It helps get my face out there to new people who have never seen me before. So your likes are definitely appreciated as well as click that notification bell. So that way you are notified every time I leave up a new video. So let's go ahead and let's get into the unboxing and review of this video because when I say I've been waiting to unbox this, it's no lie. I'm ready to tear this open like it's Christmas morning. So before we open it, let me go ahead and get into the description and all of that for you guys here. So this bag is going to be the Marc Jacobs Snapshot DTM and it's going to be in the all black. And the description says, a small camera style bag in Safiano leather with an adjustable crossbody strap. I'm really excited about the strap because it's really big. Safiano leather I'm familiar with because my Prada bag is also Safiano leather. Together. For that video, if you haven't checked that out where I did a one year review and kind of my, what is it, my kind of feel for how it's been after one year, I'll link that down below and leave a card for that as well. But you can also buy adjustable straps for this bag and everything. So the price is going to be $325. Um, there was another one that I wanted to buy too, and it was in like all leather, but I thought this one was just more cuter. The symbol or the monogram on it i really really liked um the moto shot in all black that one is 350 it's like all leather but i feel like this one is, was was more cute and fit my aesthetic a lot more so let me stop talking too much about all that because i know you guys are ready to see the bag so this is how it comes it comes in the nice plastic i've already taken out the box it doesn't come in like you know a designer box like most designer bags come in it just comes in the regular cardboard box so we're just going to take it out of its plastic so this is what it looks like. It has the nice, what is this, paper on it and stuff like that. So this is the bag. The front part is already coming off a little styrofoam that goes across it. But this was why I wanted this. Like the J's, I love how this looks compared to the other all leather one, which I'll upload a picture for you to see what that looks like. So this is it. This is the Snapshot DTM Mark Jacobs bag. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get this bag. I cannot, I just... I, when I saw it, I was like, I have to purchase it. I have been thinking about it for a while. And I was like, you know what, Aaron, go ahead and just make the purchase. So we have the nice leather. It's so shiny. As you can see, it shines in the light, gives you some nice shine. 
nice beautiful metal here in the front with the jade which is so cute and then we have our shoulder strap which let me go ahead and undo all this plastic so we can get into that alrighty guys so this is what the bag looks like with all of the paper off of it or most of the paper I still have some on the side here but this is the shoulder strap which I absolutely am obsessed with the shoulder strap is so big so wide and it says the Marc Jacobs on it here you probably really can't see it here with the light but it's a nice little just Marc Jacobs stitching on there is so long, it's so big. I love that because you know most crossbody bags come with a shoulder strap that is like small, really thin. And I love crossbody bags because I just feel like they are, like I said, more they're better for everyday wear. You can style them dressy, you can style them, you know, for a streetwear outfit, for an everyday on-the-go outfit. And what I really like about this bag, I really feel like this bag is very masculine and feminine. So it can go either way. If you're someone who's just a regular guy, you could get this bag and just purchase it as, you know, just a male everyday bag. Or if you're a woman or you're someone who just doesn't care, has open gender expression, I feel like it can go both ways. I feel like it's very neutral for both genders or whatever gender you may identify as. So as on the top, we have two zippers up here for us. We have two zippers that go opposite directions. So one goes to the left and then one goes to the right. So that's what that's giving right there. And then on the back we have like a little slip or a little insert, a little back pocket where you can put something. I really don't carry anything this thin. So I highly doubt that I'll have anything to put back here in the back pocket, but it's very tight back there. So maybe over time, over the time that you wear it more, it'll kind of loosen up. Sometimes leather gets a little softer the more you wear it. Now I saw a few reviews on the back and I saw people talk about how small it is inside. But like I said, for me personally, I don't carry a lot of things. So I feel like this will be perfect for me for the stuff that I carry. So let's go ahead and let's get into the pockets. So as you can see, we already have a goodie in here. So let's take that out. So it's just going to be a nice little dust bag, which is perfect because like I said, I thought this is gonna be my everyday bag. So if I decide that I wanna throw it in my suitcase, I have something to protect it, something to keep it nice and together, it doesn't get all scratched up, doesn't get all crazy. So we have a nice Marc Jacobs dust bag right here for us. And then I believe there's something in the back. Let's see. We have some nice stuff in here that we really don't need. And let's take off the little jelly things. And we also have like a little little car so this is probably just you know telling you how to make sure you take care of your bag you know don't use any type of craziness if you're gonna wipe it like so once again here is the inside this is the front pouch here in the very front and then we have the one in the very back so let's get into seeing what all we can pretty much fit in here as far as what I take around every day alrighty so of course the first thing that we always need in our life is gonna be our phones so I would definitely put my phone in here. I'll throw my phone in the back pocket here. Let me close my pop socket. Throw my phone in the very back. So that's in there, in the very back pocket here, as you can see. And then we'll also throw in my Brandon Blackwood wallet, which this is very thin, so I'll throw that in the front. Let's see, some little hand sanitizer I would take with me. Also, my AirPods. And she is kind of already stuffed just a little bit, especially with the AirPods. The AirPods are kind of bulkier. I will put a mask in there. So let's see, I'll put a mask in the back, I guess. Well, actually the mask, I probably wouldn't even put in my bag. I usually keep the mask in my pocket. So I wouldn't probably put that in there. Of course, I'll pop a mint in there. Now I was thinking that maybe I would be able to fit my vlog camera in here but it's looking like I may not be able to because as you can see, it's already pretty stuffed to capacity already. And I feel like the AirPods are kind of taking up a lot of space. Like, can I fit them? There's like a little pocket back here in the back. I could probably try to put it in there, but I know I'm gonna take this when I get ready to go on one of my trips this weekend. So I'm gonna try to see if I can fit my vlog camera in here and see what that's giving. All right, so here's my vlog camera. I don't know if it's gonna fit in here, Miss Mama's like, it's very, it's already very stuffed in here. Like I'm putting it near my phone and it's making it kind of bulky. 
So when they said it was small, like they did not lie. Like look how small that is. So if anything, I'll probably have to take my phone out and hold my phone. And then I can fit my vlog camera in there by itself. And let's see, I could throw my AirPods probably in there. So yeah, if you're a girl, a guy on the go, and you have a lot of stuff, then this bag is definitely something that you may want to think about if you have a lot, a lot of stuff, because it is very small. I mean, everything did fit in there. So, I mean, it is tightly compact in there. Everything is in there, but it's very, very tight. I would definitely have to hold onto my phone the entire time, or I would have to put it in my pocket which sometimes I don't like to do because I don't like to have bulgy pockets. That's why I have a bag. So I would definitely have to think about some rearranging or how I would rearrange some things to get everything to fit in here. But let's go ahead and let's do a little test and see what it looks like as far as on the body. Alrighty guys, so this is what the bag looks like on. I am 6162. So if you're a little shorter, you can definitely adjust the strap here on the side. I kind of like mine to be like right at my waist or right kind of near my stomach, like right aligned with my belly button here sometimes. This depends on my mood. This is what it looks like on. We have the straps, we have the zippers and everything. I have to take this little piece off here. This is what it looks like on. I think it's so cute. So like just small, so good for everyday wear. I definitely love this. You know, you wanna reach out. Oh, let me get my card out. I'm about to buy something to eat. Just slide my card out real easily. Slide it back in zip her up and I'm definitely off to run the races like I said if you're somebody who carries a lot a lot of things then this may be a little too small for you because it is a small small size but you know like I said I'm going to try to rearrange everything and try to see how I'm going to pack stuff up so I can get everything in there but yeah you're not going to be able to carry a lot I forgot that I even like to carry my my chapstick, but I'm not worried about that fitting in here like that. I just throw that right there on the top there like that and easily zip it up because we can't have chap lips, especially going with this transitional weather. My lips have been acting crazy. But yeah, that's going to pretty much be the Marc Jacobs DTM Snapshot bag in all black Stefano leather. So cute, I love it already. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much going to do it for my unboxing and my review of the Marc Jacobs Snapshot DTM bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are thinking about getting this bag, if you are interested in purchasing it, if you already have it, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how much you like your bag. Let me know the pros and cons that you may have ran into with this bag. So far, I like it. I might come back in a year, two years, do a little review on the upkeep, on how it's doing thus far. But yes, leave me a comment down below. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And that's pretty much going to do it for me today. And I will see you guys for a brand new video next Sunday. And as I say in all my videos, please be sure to make sure that you shine bright like a diamond. Bye.